Us and Broken Arrow have really set the tone for what game day should be. We've both won, and we know what it takes to win. They won consecutively, and it wasn't until 2019 that we kind of made our breakthrough. I definitely think they're our biggest competitor. Are we going to defend? Is it going to go back to Archbishop Shaw? I love it. I think it's so much fun trying to see who's going to win this year. My pick seven, eight, Tiger! I think I feel the pressure in game day more than I do in a performance division. One drop is the difference between first and last place. It can make or break you. Worst things have happened. Worst things have happened, okay? Do not, for the love of God, come out of the air. We always say show off dance, but sell it, hit it, and win it. So that's what we're going to try to do. Let's go, Eagles! Archbishop is a known program. They already know they can win. When I watch Broken Arrow, I think that they are good. To be honest, I don't think that anyone else is going to beat us. They're really good competitors, and they want it just as bad as we do. At the end of the day, it's always a close competition. We have to be perfect to beat them, and I think they're going to have to be perfect to beat us. So, this year, it, it should be good. Hold on tight. <laughs> we feel alive when we run in the wild. Archbishop Shaw is in Marrero, Louisiana, and we're about five miles outside of New Orleans. Our team is a game day team. If you see us at a football game or a basketball game, that's what we do. We're a game day team. We're not really a traditional competition style team. We competed at UCA Nationals for the first time in 94. People had warm-up suits and, you know, body liners and all that. We had just plain uniforms with sweatshirts and we looked like we didn't belong. But we've been going back every year since then. And we've gotten better and never once did we think we'd be competitive. And then not only competitive, never once did we think we'd win. And then once we started winning, we won seven national championships now. I mean, if that's, we're two weeks out and if all we're worried about right now is pop-ups and pop-downs, we're in good shape, okay? A lot of the credit goes to my daughter. She knows what you say is looking for. If I'm on the line, my entire spin didn't come off the line. I don't know why we're spinning like this. If we're gonna do that, then we need to take it out, okay? I actually was the mascot here for Archbishop Shaw. I started when I was three years old. Good, that was better. My mom and dad went everywhere with us. So when the old coach decided that they were going to give it up, I mean, it was just easy for my mom and dad to take it over. They didn't know anything about cheerleading, but they were like, sure, we'll do it. In September of 1992 is when we started. I've always been a Little League baseball coach and football coach, so I kind of knew about organization and kind of knew about discipline and stuff like that. Like a good coach does, I surrounded myself with good people that knew what they were doing and um, learned along the way. And we've been having a ball ever since. Hey, you're back there doing dances with a flag in his hands. You can do that. Whatever it takes, babe. Have fun. You kids just work hard and have a good time. They, they love each other, and I think that's what that's what makes it. You know. Can you please do that before the fight song? Please do. Please do. I started cheering for Archbishop Shaw in eighth grade. I didn't really have that much of a cheer experience. I danced my entire life. So I was going to try out for the dance team at first. But then I was like, I think I like cheer better just because like, I'm loud. You know, I've always been a loud person. So I tried out for the cheer team. And I thought I wasn't going to make it at first just because I wasn't as advanced as like some of the other girls. But I ended up making it. And from then on, it's just been my favorite thing to do. I love how close I get with everybody on my team from all my years. So it's been a, an amazing experience my entire high school career. S H S Dip. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't change it, okay? But however, however, once we're done, we don't get a second chance to go show the judges that that's what we meant to do, okay? No second chances. All right, we talk about that all the time. It's not football. You don't throw the interception and still win the game. You drop a stunt, you lose. End of story. Ask the team last year. 
last year's competition, you know, it was different because of COVID. Good thing they did the 50-50 thing like they did because we wouldn't have made finals that year. In the traditional competition, we really bombed in the first, the first day. But then we turned around to game day and we did the same thing, we dropped a stunt. So we were second going into the second day and Broken Arrow was first. And we knew that it was gonna have to hit a perfect routine and we was gonna need help from Broken Arrow to be honest with you, you know? And we did, we went out the next day, we hit our routine and we knew it was gonna be close. I think we lost by two points. The one thing that people don't realize is that we're a very, very small school. We have 360 kids that come to school and we're competing against teams that have two and 3,000 people in their school. Just being able to compete, finish first, second, or third is, is you know, unbelievable to us, you know? And so when we go in with, with our small school and our small team and compete against these big boys and win, it is it's so much more gratifying. But with that said, we know who's the best and we know who we, we chasing. Broken Arrow is in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, which is 15 miles outside of Tulsa. So we are two weeks out from leaving for Orlando and everyone is beyond excited and it's just getting more and more real. <laughs> After we do performance, then we need to do, then we can start game day. We wanna do a 10 minute game day warm up and go through each section, do a walk through just like we would for warm up room. Mm -hmm. okay. We really don't start UCA Nationals until end of November, December. So it's a quick turnaround. So our preparation has to be straightforward. This is what we need to be doing. We need to be doing these full outs by this time. Now, COVID has thrown a little bit of a loop in there. The last two weeks we have been virtual. So this week is our first week back from virtual. My body hurts from those 50 texts I did yesterday. Oh, girl. Broken Arrow has definitely made a name for itself, not just in the academics and the school, um, but also especially in our athletic programs. We've worked really hard, especially at UCA the past few years. The kind of back and forth between Archbishop Shaw and Broken Arrow started back in, I would say, kind of 2019. 2016, 2017, 2018, they won consecutively. And it wasn't until 2019 that we made our breakthrough. Game day was kind of new in Oklahoma, so it wasn't something that a lot of teams did. And whenever they came out on top, I think it just lit a fire under everyone that that was our new standard. And then we came back in 2020, we actually ended up with a legality that year, so we didn't even make it out of semis. And then in 2021, came back with a vengeance. We were going to win no matter what it took. I would absolutely love to win game day for my third national title. And senior year, you know, you want you want that other ring. <laughs> okay. Thanks. What has made us different from years past is that we have a different kind of bond. As a team, we've kind of come together and we've clicked a little bit. Walk through, go ahead and get set. We're gonna walk through so we still have time to pump up before we do our full out. Cool? Walk through, here we go. Welcome to the floor, Broken Arrow Varsity! We have pretty tough practices. It's not a in and out, you're done, you're great. We have this expectation that until we hit it perfect, we're not going to move on. So we might be here for two and a half hours, we might be here longer, depending on where we are that day. We are definitely starting to hit it hard again. Obviously in cheerleading, we have athletes that move on and off different floors because of injuries, grades, someone who just might be better in that position. And so as we move people in and out, we need to start cleaning it and we're really getting down to the nitty gritty. Use your legs. Use your legs. Dip and shrug it up. Right now, it looks like you're like pushing her backwards. Don't pull. Make sure that it's like staying controlled and you're helping assist it right back up. Okay? Hey, just stay tight. We got this. You did 20 yesterday. Our nerves have kind of kicked in a little bit, but I think that being two weeks away, it makes you work a little bit harder in practice. Last one. 
got it. Oh, no! no. no. Ah. 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 Crash and burn! Good catch! Okay, one more. Preparing for nationals is a little stressful because you have hard practices and you're doing the same routine over and over and over again just to perfect it as much as you can before you leave. But doing those skills over and over again really helps boost my confidence. I'm very thankful for the hard work that has carried over from last year to this year. And I think this year will be a good year. How do you feel about what you just did? Lily, do you have something? Uh, I thought the energy was good. Just skills can always be Exactly. I, I would agree. Energy was really good. It's just the skills. But at this point, right before we go, we need to be working on our showmanship and performing, not working on our skills. Your motions are looking better. We're sharp where we're supposed to be, but our faces just look like, I'm so exhausted. I said a word. Um, start building your stamina like here. Like, give 110% here so you can get 150% at nationals. Like, don't like settle for 100. Yes. Like, go okay. above. So we're two weeks away from nationals now. We are hitting a routine, so that's good. The thing about my father and me is we love to make changes. It's never good enough. Like, you know, if you're hitting it, okay, well, let's make it more exciting. Let's add some things to it. Let's give it some more pizzazz. So that's what we're doing right now. I don't want you to turn your body at all, okay? Just shake and then just hand it like that and then move, okay? okay. She'll come and get it from you, okay? So okay. shake for a second. She's right there, so she's not going to be long. Shake, yay, pass it. Move, okay? Because when you turn around, that's when it gets all jacked up. Last year we competed in both traditional and game day, but since we have like a newer team and like a younger team, we thought it would be better to just stick to game day this year. Last year we had a real strong senior field team. This year it's really different. Out of the 16 girls, 10 of them are either a freshman or a pre-freshman, which we call eighth grade is pre-freshman. We have two juniors and four seniors, so we're really, really young. Out of our eight guys, we have a team of six of them are seniors, but all eight guys, this is their first year ever doing this. They have no clue what's getting ready to happen at Nationals. The girls were talking to us and they said, like, we need guys. So, like, four or five of the guys on the soccer team were like, okay, we'll do it. I mean, might as well, it's senior year, so we wanted to have something else to do. I've definitely enjoyed it, and they have too. Like, the other guys, we kind of wish that we would have done it sooner. The other thing about our, our guys is they all do something different. We have soccer players, we have a band member, we have a, a wrestler, we have a lacrosse player. You know, just trying to work around everything to try to compete. That's the hardest thing. Good, Riley, way to squeeze. Okay, and then remember, it's not over once you go SHS Eagles. You can't look like your dog just died, okay? You gotta pop off, you gotta be exciting. Do not stop doing that until you get off the green mat, okay? And if, even if something goes wrong, you pretend like it was the best thing you ever did since UCA was invented, okay? And then once you get off the mat, then we'll talk about it, okay? All right, go get a quick sip of water and then we're gonna come back and we're going full out. Everyone come here. You can do this in your sleep. Okay. Like, so just babies. add a little flair to it. That's what you should do every time you step off. Have fun, okay? Okay. We got y'all. Pump yourself up. Here we go. Fun. Game day is really cool because it is so different from the traditional aspect of cheer. It's taking that band dance section, the sideline cheer, and the fight song and putting it all together. Everything that you'd normally see at a game, but more in a competition setting so that you can see everything at one time. This might be the best game day routine that Birkenair has ever put together. It's just so effortless and it's so much fun. So the routine this year, I actually didn't think I would ever make something up that I loved as much as I did last year's. Their band chant is just so fun to watch and it's so entertaining and just crowd focused. And then we've kind of started a tradition at Broken Arrow. We do a big tiger split for our first stunt in the cheer. I mean, it's been really special to watch it all kind of unfold. We have a lot going on and that's on purpose and it only looks right and does its job when everything is being clean and sharp and really taking that fun enthusiasm to lead the crowd with it, that's Broken Arrow. When I watch Broken Arrow, I think that they're good. I love how spirited they are. I love how their stunts go up. They're really good competitors and they want it just as bad as we do. 
They have the flags, they have their dance, they have stunts all at the same time, and it's so energetic. It really looks good, it looks very collegiate. Their choreography is great, and so I like to look at what they do compared to what we did. Like any coach, we'll break down the scores and we'll see where they got us or where we got them, where we can improve. There's always gonna be pressure that comes with when you win a national championship. That's who people are going back to watch. So I think that's where you kind of have to step up your game. This is worth the most amount of points, so we gotta make sure this is good. Broken Arrow is a very good program. We don't have to worry about other people because of what we put in day in and day out. Once we get to that excellence routine and we're consistent with that excellence routine, I don't think anyone can touch us. Much better. That's what it needs to look like first time, second time, third time, every time. Five, six, seven, eight. A T A P. Who the fuck you want to be? B C I V. I think the whole game day feel is something that both Broken Arrow and Archbishop Shaw do very well. Keep it up, keep it up! We always score really well in the band dance. It makes people look up and say, well, who's that? It's the first thing that we do. We come out, we're very exciting, we're very loud. It sounds like we have an army out there. Our dances are good, you know, our, our cheer's good. We're sharp, we try our best to spirit and yell even while we're dancing not just in between each element of the routine. Our routine this year is not real difficult, you know, stunt-wise, because our guys are brand new, you know, and our girls are babies. But you'll see us do solid stunts. Every time Cody adds something to it, it gets better and better, and, and I'm really, really excited about it. Archbishop is super talented. They always look like a very true co-ed team. It's just always fun to watch, and I think that's one of the most important parts of game day. And I try to always coach my kids to do that also. Like, I want you to go out there and have so much fun that those judges stop what they're doing and they get to kind of just sit there and watch. That's what I tell my team all the time is, if you want to win, you need to have fun. That was awesome, y'all, awesome. Very good. Their program has definitely been a winning program, and that's something that's hard to compete with. So if they're already winning, it's easier to get in your brains that you can't win. Hey, we're only two weeks out, gang. Make sure we keep working. We gotta be better tomorrow than we were today, better the next day than we are tomorrow. Our goal for nationals is just to go out there and be the best we can be. I'm not going there to win. I'm going there to have fun and make memories with my team. But it's always nice to win. scheduled a couple of practice times because I was like, we're gonna get our lives together. Quit second guessing yourself and keep your crap in the air. Fondas, if I see one more person make a terrible face, I'm going to literally lose my crap. We have to go out there and be the absolute best team that is here. You have to sell it in semis first, and then if you get in the finals, you have to sell it even harder. Get out there and show them the Shaw energy. All right, now you gotta just hit it. One, two, three, people! We had some issues, but there's nothing we can do about it now. And our final team, Luna.